There's nothing more frustrating in photography than thinking you got the shot in the field only to realize when you look at it on your computer screen that it's blurry, out of focus, or has too much noise. Until now. Enter Topaz Photo AI. This program is going to help you with your photography because it's gonna fix those blurry photos and get them tack sharp and remove image noise all in one tool. Here's how to use it. As you can see in this photo, I have a lot of image noise. I pretty much nailed the focus on the eyes, but the beak and some of the feathers right on the chest of the bird are out of focus. There's also a lot of image noise in this photo because I was using this lens here at 150 millimeters. This is a Tamron 150 to 500, and I was shooting at f6.6 seven, but with an ISO of 1200. Now I had to raise the ISO so much because I was getting darker in the day and I was shooting at one 500th of a second to freeze all those little movements of the birds. So that's why the image noise is so high. It's pretty easy to remove. There's a tool right here that says image noise, remove noise, and you just click on that and slide it over to the right. Now obviously you can see that the image noise goes away. If I just move it a little bit, it shows you a representation of what that looks like before and after. So here's before and here's after. So it easily removes that image noise, but it also corrects it by including more of the details of your subject and getting those feathers even sharper than they were before. This is a great tool to use and one that I use in Topaz Photo AI all the time. There's also the sharpen tool. Now I mentioned some of the bird's beak and some of the feathers on the chest were slightly out of focus. Now if it's completely out of focus, you miss that focus, it's gonna be really hard to get that back. But for just those soft edges of focus, like right on the chest of the bird, it might bring some of those back. So if I hit sharpen, you can see that automatically a lot of the feathers on the birds become sharper, especially right over here on the back, around the eyes, and leading up to the beak. So this part of the bird got a lot sharper just by using this tool. Now I'm also gonna come down here to adjust lighting and click it just to see what it does with the lighting. And honestly, it does a very poor job. This would be something reserved for Lightroom with a simple subject mask. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second with the final touches here. So I'm gonna undo the lighting and I'm also going to try balance color. I don't expect this to work very well, but for the most part, you know, it makes it a little bit warmer, not really where I want it to be, and it's doing the entire photo. Again, I'm gonna show you how to mask this in, in a couple clicks of the mouse, super easy to do. So when I get the denoise effect in and also sharpen my subject, I'm going to go down here to save to Adobe Classic. When I do that, it's going to put it into Adobe Classic and now we can make those final adjustments. So here's our photo that we were just working with. If I go to masking here and just click on subject, Lightroom is easily gonna find my subject. Now this is going to seclude out these edits to this bird and even enhance what we were just doing in Topaz Photo AI. So if I just lift the exposure on my subject, it brings more attention and detail because your eye is always drawn to the brightest part of the photo. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm also going to just warm up the bird of the photo and make everything else remain cool and snowy in this nice cool winter scene. So I'm also going to come down here and increase the texture and clarity of the actual bird. Just a little bit of boost on the texture and clarity and we've really lifted the detail of this bird and we've enhanced a lot of these feathers and features. So that's how you take it from Topaz Photo AI. Use the best tool to denoise and also sharpen a lot of those edges and then bring it back over into Lightroom and correct it with color corrections with masking. This didn't take very long at all and I know it's easy for you to use too. If you want more tutorials and post-processing, click or tap this card showing up on your screen right here.